Yo, welcome back to another calisthenic story. Today we got Andrew Strong, the calisthenic beast who came from, you know, from uh, he used to perform in uh, public before. I don't know what's that called, the circus or whatever you call. But he used to have his teammate and he used to do on the pole, human flag, human flag skills. You know, like he did human flag and then he would do like tricks on that and everything. So he has a good foundation when he was a kid, but now he does a lot of strong planches and struggle planches, everything and etc, etc. So those are the crazy moves nowadays he does. Of course, he also does leg training, which most of you guys will be shocked and intrigued because you guys think that, yeah, we don't train legs. Of course we don't, but this guy trains legs every, not every day, then he would of course lose his planche in just a month. But he trains as well legs. I train legs. Um, let's not get to that. Let me just focus on my tuck planches. I'm still in tuck planch, bro. Chill. Why am I getting frustrated? Yeah, because the man, Andrew Stone, is frustrated. A calisthenics athlete who became famous literally out of nowhere. Yeah. Now we all know him for his crazy planche variations, but what was before that? Yeah, he used to do it on the bottles, bro. Let's explore together Andrew's journey oh from being God. a small kid to becoming a worldwide known athlete. Okay, story time. <sighs> Andriy Primak, Ukraine. known as Andriy Strong, was born in 1995 in a small village in Ukraine. He always loved to exercise and living in Ukraine, nah. where it's normal to have a pull that, bar in the backyard, he could already him, right? by the age of 10 do 10 pull-ups. Pull Sadly, a year later his parents got divorced and due to bad situation, Andriy started working to bring some money home. Okay. This early introduction to hard work served as a foundation for his future fitness journey. Oh, Before starting shit. calisthenics, Angie used to box. However, he desired someone. a more muscular physique, yeah. which was impossible to achieve with boxing. So, in the winter of 2012, he began working out at the gym, focusing on basic exercises like bench press, biceps curls, or rows. Okay, what's with boxing? Everyone he continued to work boxing. out at the gym for three more months until his friends invited oh. him to try a new street workout, workout approach at the calisthenics park. Andrew decided workout. to join them and even in 2012 they met an impressive athlete who could already at the time perform advanced Run moves like the front lever, one-arm dragon flag Ooh. or for example human flag pull-up. One-arm dragon flag, that's very... Impressed by the front no lever, Andrew that. decided to give it a try. It was his first attempt and he already managed to hold the position, not perfectly straight, but he held it thanks to his physical work he did and his training in the gym. I mean he has basics. He had a really good basic strength yep. during this time. Angie could already pull off 25 pull-ups, 60 dips and something Sixty around dips. 80 push-ups. And crazy. because Andrew really liked this new style of exercising, Ooh, he decided to give it a try and so he began his casting journey with almost unlocking the front lever in his very first workout. That's he later crazy. achieved many other moves such as the muscle up, back lever, dragon flag and human flag. However, he didn't learn a handstand due to his previous bad fall which okay. made him afraid of attempting it again. Shoulder injury? Okay. After one month of training, Angie signed up for his first ever calisthenics competition. Since oh. he didn't have at that time access to internet, he asked for advice from one of his friends about what he should do there. Planche, he said. <laughs> what is planche? What Angie is asked. Planche? The friend then demonstrated the move to him and despite having no knowledge of progressions like tuck or advanced tuck, Angie attempted the straddle planche right from the start. Surprisingly, after just it. three weeks of training, he achieved it and with this outstanding accomplishment he became the best and the winner of the competition, confirming his decision that he should stay doing calisthenics. Yeah. Encouraged by his success, Angie also decided to give the handstand another try. His learning approach was unique compared to others because he mastered the handstand by pressing into it from the straddle bench position. 
Shortly after, he participated in Ukraine Workout Tour, where he placed fourth. Then he competed in another competition, where he could do already three straddle planche push-ups. Unfortunately, he placed second just because he couldn't do a one one-arm pull-up with full okay. range of motion. Nevertheless, he quickly compensated by achieving again first place in the following competition. Fast forward, it's three years later Yay. and Andrew receives his first contract Muscle. to work in French circus Muscle alongside gang. three other Kaisnes athletes. Yeah, this, is where he does. this part of Andrew's life was, was quite challenging about. for him. Just after four months of performing, he experienced yep. a significant weight loss, which was something around 6 kgs. This result was mainly yeah, because this, of the war having only three about. meals a day instead of his five he was used to mm. and prioritizing saving money yeah. instead of spending it on extra food. Of yeah. course, once he had saved a substantial amount of money, yeah. he decided to invest 300 euros in food to compensate those two missing meals. Oh. Even after that, maintaining good eating habits was extremely difficult due to the constant travel between cities. Yeah, Sometimes yeah, yeah. the distance were as short as 100 kilometers, but other times and they stretched as long. far as yeah. 600 kilometers. The athletes traveled with truck drivers who couldn't always stop for meals or restrooms, so this lifestyle greatly interrupted Angie's progress in calisthenics. The following okay. contract further slowed down his progress as Angie didn't understand the performance he will do until he arrived at the circus. There he fully understood that he will be performing for example human flag or planche on 12 meters tall pool without any safety measures. He felt angry and fearful about the situation, but with a little bit of practice, he later on enjoyed it and even repeated in 2017 and 2018. These times were also extremely difficult for him, not to mention his attempts to continue to progress in calisthenics by doing his own workouts after the shows. These sessions typically started at 11 pm and ended up at 2 am allowing him spend only two hours of sleep before having to prepare for traveling. To make things even worse, Angie often had to assist in unpacking all the stuff and then pack it up again after each show. A lot of work. Before the coronavirus pandemic began, Angie ended his circus career by performing in Chile and on a cruise ship in 2019. Back in the 2013 and 2014, he was really famous in Ukraine and he was also seeing five other Kalistinx athletes that were on the top level at that time. However, when he joined the circus, he quickly became forgotten and his lack of activity on social media didn't help his situation. Additionally, in 2014, he went to Kharkiv to study at the Academy of Physical Culture where he gained his knowledge of human anatomy and mm. muscles. Yeah. He also worked as a calisthenics trainer at the gym for approximately 6 months during that time. Ooh. When he returned to Ukraine in 2019, he chose not to go back to the circus, circus. and instead focused on coaching Street and his workouts. personal workouts. Yep. This, these were the, clips which are famous, I saw. the first few months of coaching were challenging, because he had zero clients due to his transition from somebody to nobody over the years. However, the fame slowly started to return these as he regained his I presence saw. in Ukraine. This is how I know him from Finding out trips. that the coaching alone won't be enough, Angie decided to launch his own YouTube channel and TikTok. Okay. At this point, Angie had already achieved a high level in statics and he knew that people will love it, so he began posting videos of himself performing these high level moves. Like any other journey, the start was difficult and initially nobody cared about Angie's content. There were no calisthenics related profiles or athletes reposting his videos. But one day, Angie woke up to a miracle. A calisthenics <laughs> profile called Impossible Excuse Moves me? reposted his video, triggering a chain reaction as other profiles started sharing <laughs> his videos as well. His views on his profiles instantly skyrocketed from an average of 2 to 3,000 views to 10, 20, and even 30,000 views on a single yeah, video. Back in the time, no one used to post on this was YouTube. also due to his creativity, as he always aimed to introduce something new and unique. The, the rings one is, it's, it's all about this wrist, bro. People loved his innovative approach, so they immediately started following him on his social oh, yeah. media. When he platforms. does on the bottles with the rings, that's crazy. Are you gonna show us? 
Angie put in a tremendous amount of effort to really use this opportunity given by the impossible moves. So his typical day consists of waking up, doing his first workout, creating videos for TikTok, Instagram and YouTube which sometimes could be considered as another workout because not everything was recorded flawlessly on the first take, eating, having his second workout in the evening and then going to sleep. This way he functioned for a year straight, which was both physically and mentally demanding. Many times Angie faced a loss of motivation to work out or record videos, but as he said, if you will work out only when you have the motivation, you will never get to the top level. With this mindset, he managed to excel not only in calisthenics, but also he's right now one of the fastest growing calisthenics athletes on social media. His YouTube channel managed to get 260,000 subscribers, nearly 600,000 followers on Instagram and slightly over 200,000 followers on TikTok, which faced many issues resulting in certain videos being blocked. Uh, Recently he made his own workout scammers. plan followed by workout app which many people used and found helpful. Hackers. Also his content has shifted from tutorials to more challenge style videos, which have become highly engaging to watch. Yeah, now he does vlogs and everything. So many people pretty. at the beginning believed and told him that he will not achieve the fame with just statics. Ooh. But Angie has proven that they were wrong. Yep. That was an insane video. Of course, I knew some of the things about him. So he just learned struggle punch in just a few weeks, but it doesn't mean that he didn't have a basics. He had a pretty good basics, so you know, struggle punch for him. As, as you know, and there are many videos, I think I've reacted previous where they say, do basics first. Of course, if you do basics for like continuous three years, then go for skills. Skills is gonna be easier, but if you want to do skill and uh, basics together, then it's gonna take you time. Like me, I'm doing skill and basics together, so it's gonna take me more and more time. Rather than doing basics for like straight five years, and then the skills is gonna be a piece of cake. But anyways, everyone's choice is different and everything. But yeah, this was a good story about him. I mean, didn't have any serious injuries or anything but then from circus he came to calisthenics and everything and that's crazy as well and yeah he learned by himself no one taught him everything like nowadays of course people are using ebooks from the pro people and they just see the ebooks and they get it easily but gathering knowledge from yourself and learning from your own mistakes that's a long process but yeah he made it anyways Hope you guys will also make it in your client journey, whatever journey you are, look, let the basics come on bro, let them come in bro, don't stop basics, or skills will be stopped forever. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video, until then, stay safe, and see you guys in the next video, be strong, see you, what was his outro? He's very strong, you are the best, and I'll see you guys in the next video.